So I just recorded the cover of La Innocence. I've mixed it all up and it's going to come out. This is sort of the follow-up to that. I'm going to basically just go over the meaning of the song and how I came about doing my translation for it. For background, um, I'm going to link to the previous video where I explained what my translation process is. I'm basically going to describe how I actually did that with this song. So. Um, I don't actually speak French. I did feed the lyrics into Google Translate, but I reworked it using the method I described, but also applying my sense as a lyricist and somewhat injecting my own style into it as well. I'm going to start by doing a direct translation of the song, really the Google Translate version, in order to just break down the story, the meaning for the non-French speakers. I also want to point out the poetic structure of the song and really the lyrical genius of Nietzsche's writing, just to confirm what we've probably already expected that Alceste's lyrics are really good. So I'm gonna go phrase by phrase and then line by line and just sort of give an idea of what the song is about. If you're a native French speaker and I'm interpreting the song incorrectly, please correct me as I'd like to know, but I think I've done a decent job at it. So I'm gonna start by translating the title, La Unacent, Le Couleur Novelle. I'm probably screwing up the pronunciation. Uh, this is the one line that I not, don't really know how to pronounce at all. But what it means literally is where there are born the colors new. Of course, it needs a bit of work. Uh, the direct translation is where the new colors are born, but I prefer to take a more proper approach to it. And the, the way I translate the title is from which new colors rise. Uh, the reason is because this line actually appears later in the song and I translate it a different way just because of how it's sung to match the meter and to sort of match the feeling of the song but I'll go into more detail when I get there. The French lyrics start like this Chateau Géo which means I've always Vesuvici lived here Portant sort of like still as a stranger errant. So basically the idea is he's saying he's lived in this place for a very long, like basically his whole life, but he still feels like a stranger that's wandering around. Um, so the next line, on this earth, I didn't get a good translation for that. Um, I, the translation I got was shemale, but I think it means something more along the lines of outcast. And then the final line of the verse, in perpetual detachment, which is basically, you know, in perpetual detachment. So he's saying, you know, he doesn't, he feels out of place on this earth, like an outcast, and he's always just detached. So the next section, Jantin et moi la He's saying, I can hear my appeal, but what he's saying is he can hear his call. Du entrain universe from another universe. Qui raison So this means how it resonates. Amerement means bitterly. So he does a pretty cool thing here. Um, you know, the line before he's, there's a lot of words in the line before, and he's fitting a lot of syl uh, syllables together. But when he gets to this last line, how it resonates, he just drags out the words. It's just two words that fill up the same amount of space as the line before, which was huge. And, um, you know, it's supposed to reflect what the lyrics are saying, that he can hear his call and it's just resonating throughout him, which I think is really cool. Uh, the next verse is this, Les yeux rivers, which is um, all eyes, Vers to the sky, portant, carrying, this is from the Latin word portant, to carry, um, Le far du demon car, so the burdens of my body. Um, so he's saying his eyes look up to the sky and they sort of project with him the burdens of his soul. And um, one really great thing that I want to point out is that this, the first line of this verse and the first line of the first verse in the song were in fact written parallel with one another, which is something that I do in my own music, so I was very happy to find something like that, to find that this band that I really like is doing the same thing that I'm doing. So, just to go back to the first verse, and now we have Le you river 
It's not exactly the same, but we have that ooh sound. The next set of words, vesuvisi, compared to velisil. You know, that's, we're getting something more closer. And then next, portant. And then in the second verse, we also have portant, which is a different word. The two are homonyms. One means still, the other one means to carry. And I thought that was really awesome because that's something that I love to do. Um, Tel un tanger, le fadu, and then errant de mon So it sort of falls apart at this point, but you know, still, it's something really cool. Um, the next line, je perçois ma demeure. So he's saying, I perceive my home. Perdu dans les nuits. So he's uh, lost in the clouds. So basically now what he's saying is he's looking up at the sky, he's carrying the burdens of his soul, and up in the sky he can see his home lost in the clouds. So he finds a place for himself up away from this earth. So the next part we get to the screaming part, which is also my favorite, uh, my favorite part to translate, not just because it's, you know, the screaming part, but because the lyrics are actually really intricate. Uh, the French lyrics are Trop de pesantia ici, which means too much weight here. De bras obstina, uh, de bras obstiné, I guess. Um, but from these stubborn arms. The next line, retenant l'esprit voyage, holding the voyager's spirit, sur le point, sur le point, I think something like that, on the point, chacapeu of escape. So what he's saying is, you know, he, he sees this place for him that's far off in the distance and he wants to go there, but he can't because there's something that's holding him back. The stubbornness is holding him from escaping. Um, so then we get this really long uh, acoustic section. It's this clean, I guess, shoegazy section, which is sort of gradually showing his release and then you sort of envision him flying through the sky as we enter the next set of lyrics. So it's DC bus, uh, which means down, which sort of down below or beneath. Je perçois ma demeure, which is the same line from before, meaning I see my home, except instead of being down looking up, now he's above looking down. And the next line. Surprise eternal the eternal prairies or the eternal fields. And then again we repeat the lyrics from the second verse. Perdu dans la nuit. Lost in the clouds. So we reach the final two lines of the song. Um, this is the title of the song, La Unas. La Unas de Kula Novelle. And you know, again as I just mentioned before, it's just where the new colors are born. And then the final line, Là où mon cœur, where my heart, et mon âme, uh, if I'm saying that right, and my soul, sans rester, remains. So basically, what the song is about, it's about someone who, you know, feels lost at home. Uh, he feels lost on this planet and he sees his own home away from the sky But his stubbornness prevents him from leaving even though he hears himself calling You know telling him that that is where he belongs, but you know eventually he's able to break free He sees this home You know he sees his home and then the colorless life that was once his is now rife with colors and you know he finds a place where his heart and soul belongs. So now we get to my translation. Um, like I mentioned before, the two things I needed to preserve are the meaning of the song as well as the vocal meter, and one thing that I try to preserve are phonetic sounds whenever I can, and occasionally when there's a place for it, I'll just inject some subtleties of my own to make up for the poetry that's lost in translation. So if we go back to the beginning of the song, um, I'm basically just going to read out line by line because the lyrics are available. Uh, I'm just going to do what I did before, but this time, but instead of giving the Google Translate version, I'm going to give my version. So, So long I've lived here, but still it seems Portant, so foreign Tel un tanger errant just a tourist errant. So tangent means stranger, but I thought tourist fit 
more, especially since I decided to add the word foreign. Now I replaced the word portant, which means still, with foreign, so that's one of my own inject injections, but it's one of the things I did to fit meter as well as phonetic sounds. I'm not gonna go over every little instance of these substitutions that I make, so this is just kind of an example, and you can sort of get a feel for how I process this information as I'm doing the translation. So, uh, back to the lyrics. I translate that on the on this earth. Esule, I said before it means sort of like outcast, um, but I just decided to translate it as as an essence just to preserve that sound. Without it doesn't really lose that much of a meaning because the word's just sort of an add-on, and then. In perpetual detachment, which I translated literally in perpetual detachment. So if you read this directly, this verse goes, So long I've lived here, but still it seems so foreign, just a tourist errand. On this earth, an essence in perpetual detachment. So that's what he's talking about. Um, basically, the, the verse is translated almost directly. So, Chantaine, moi l'appel d'entre universe. I can hear my calling from another universe. Qui raison, how it resonates. Amerement, through the bitter cold. There isn't a good translation for amerement that uh, fits, it just means bitter. Oh, the second verse. Le river, so all eyes. Uh, I decided to translate that as I fix my visions. So you can see, you know, there's some, there's some sounds that are matched here. Velocir, uh, towards the sky. Portant, which I translate, it means carrying, but I translate it projecting because I think it's a better, it fits the message better. Um, and then, le fadu demon comes, all these burdens of mine instead of of my body, just just to rhyme with sky. Um, Je perçois ma demeure. I could have translated perçois, perceive, but you know, nobody says I perceive my home, so I just, you know, I can see my home. And then the next line is interesting. Perdu dans les nuits. Uh, if I'm saying that right, I don't know how to say that last word, which means cloud. Lost in the clouds. The word perdu, it means lost, but I decided to translate it in pursuit. So in a way, it's sort of like he sees this how this uh, his home in the clouds, and it's like running away from him, and he's chasing it. Uh, and that's the way I decided to translate that, just because I think it you know creates a better image. Um, so then we get to the screaming part. Like I said, it was. It's my favorite part to translate just because of there are these like hidden things with the way I, I play with um, incorrectly translating words just to create a, a structure. So, trop de passante is C. I translated that too much weight hangs and then de bois abstina. Uh, so, bra means arms, abstina or abstigné means stubborn. But I decided to flip it around. The word bra, B-R-A-S, it means arms, but it looks like brass. Now brass is a root for the word brazen, which means stubborn, but of course it also means made of brass. So when we have this section, too much weight hangs from these brazen arms. Not only is he held back by his stubborn arms like in the original song, but he's literally held back by these brass arms that are weighing him down. Uh, which I, you know, I, I was really happy with uh, seeing that as a possible translation. Then, um, retenant l'esprit voyage, so it's retaining the spirit of the voyager. I decided to translate retaining as restraining just because it, it gives, you know, it sounds better. Uh, the spirit of voyage, so this, this will to escape. Uh, sur le point, je chique on the point of escape. Now here's where I take a huge liberty. Instead of translating it on the point of escape to match that phonetic sound, because we have the word voyage in the previous line, I just inject a bit of my own flair and I translate it on the verge. So I'm restraining the spirit of the voyage on the verge of escape. So now we get to the final section again. DC bas, which means like down below, I translate it from this place. So we have bas in place. Je perçois ma demeure, I translate that exactly as before I can see my home. Ce prayer is eternal, so the eternal prairies. I actually translated that directly. The prairies eternal, um, perdu, you know, in pursuit of the clouds. And essentially the image here, again, because the, I'm translating lost in the clouds as 
pursuit of the clouds. Now we're in the sky looking down, he sees his home. It's these fields that are stretched eternally long. And now, you know, these, and now the prairies, you know, they're sort of in pursuit of the clouds, which he's flying through just to signify, you know, the vastness of the fields. Uh, we get to the title. Now, earlier I said I translated the title from which the color, from which new colors rise, but in song, uh, in order to fit the way he performs it, I decided to translate it, um, in, just in a different way. I go, uh, so, launast, where they rise, uh, le coula novel, new colors from the gray. I think he pronounces it novelle. So, new colors from the gray. And this creates the image that, you know, his life before was colorless and dull, and then now it's full of color. You know, they, you know new colors have risen in his life. And then finally, um, la mon coeur, where my heart's et mon âme, and the soul of mine. And then, sont resté, which means remains, I just translate it, will stay. The way I described my translation and I talked about rhyming sounds or, you know, imagery and all that stuff, this is essentially the way I'm going to tackle my own music when I go over the lyrics. So this will serve as sort of, um, sort of a template for my future videos once I finish talking about the songwriting. But this is already a long video so I'm not going to drag it on any further. It was my pleasure doing the translation of this song. I'm really happy with the way it came out. I hope you really enjoyed it. This is something that I would like to keep doing in the future for bands I like, like Alcest, but also other bands like uh, Imperium Decadence, you know, whose music is in German. Um, so uh, there's always going to be content for me in the future, even when I'm done doing the songwriting stuff, uh, because there's always something that's interesting to me.